Coast Guard Academy says it may have to ship some programs out of New London. That revelation after its bid to expand was shot down. News 8's Tina Detail following developments on the scene in New London. Over the years, the U.S. Coast Guard Academy has taken over more and more of this new London park. You can see the academy right there past these picnic tables and that fence. But a recent rejection of having it expand here even more may have the academy looking elsewhere. This is what the academy had wanted to build at Riverside Park, a national simulation center where students could experience what it's like to be on the bridge of a ship without leaving land. But New London residents voted down a deal to sell nearly half of the waterfront park to the Coast Guard Academy. Some hoping other areas in the city would appeal to the academy. But the superintendent says if it's not next door, it gets complicated. Well, the problem with uh, locating anything outside of contiguous property is that you have to reestablish an entire facility that's remote, provide all the security, try to find transportation for your students to get there, and all that just is uh, unrealistic. Admiral Sandra Stoltz says right now the academy is growing beyond capacity and may have to move some of its programs from the New London campus. Ideally, she would like to keep them here, expanding into the park. In some ways, they could probably connect somehow with the city, and uh, the city could benefit out of it, too. Some now wonder if plans for the National Coast Guard Museum in New London may also set sail. I hope that we can move forward in a positive direction to pull together for the benefit of uh, the Coast Guard and New London. The superintendent is hoping to keep discussions with the city open. In fact, she is meeting with the mayor later this month. On the scene in New London, Tina Detell, News 8.